The duplicate stitch is a way of embroidering a design into your work, or it can be a way of reinforcing a weak spot in your work. Uh, you can embroider a design after you finish knitting it, and it's usually done in stockinette, and the duplicate stitch looks just like a series of V's, just like the knit side of stockinette stitch. Or I can think of one of my designs where I've used it for um, a reinforcement spot. It's uh, the toddler tunic, and the toddler tunic is a slit neck down to about right here, and then it's a pullover from there on down. And at the spot where the slit neck becomes a pullover, that's kind of a weak spot. So I have the knitter use the same color of yarn and duplicate stitch a few stitches there just to reinforce that area. So it can be a tool and not just decorative. Let me show you how to work it. We have this swatch here, a stockinette swatch, and I have a very different color of yarn that I'm going to use to embroider. And it just so happens the yarn I'm using to embroider is worsted weight, and this is a chunky weight. So I'm going to hold this yarn double-stranded. We already talked about the knit stitch being a, uh, a bunch of V's. You want to come in at the bottom of a V, like this. Leave yourself enough to weave in back there. We're at the bottom of a V right here. You want to skip that V and the V above it, go in grabbing both legs, like that. Pull it through, watching your tension as you do it, and I have to pay special attention because I'm using double strands. Then go back down into the same hole you came out of. Ta-da! There you go. Looks just like a V, just like a knit stitch. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to come in at the bottom of the next stitch up. Skip that next stitch and grab both legs. Go behind both legs of the stitch above that. Pull it through. You always want to watch your tension, and I just got everything twisted up here a little bit, so I want to straighten it out. If this is decorative, of course, you want to make sure it looks really good. Then go back down into the same, <coughs> same hole you came out of. Excuse me. You see how good that looks? You can keep working that really any direction. And you can travel. The more you travel, of course, the messier it looks on the back which is a huge concern to embroiderers and cross-stitchers, I know. I just want to show you that you can move all around, just doing the same thing over and over. I will tell you this, when I'm working duplicate stitch, I usually choose, usually I have a design, I'm not just doing stripes like this. I usually want to start at the bottom of the design and work my way up, because working duplicate stitch from the top down ends up being a little more difficult, and that's because if you work from the top down, like if I wanted to do this stitch, I have to not only go behind the two legs that I just duplicate stitch, but the two legs that I would have gone into anyway. So I'm going underneath four legs of stitch right there. And I don't like doing it. I think this looks smoother and nicer. Anyway, that's the duplicate stitch. <laughs>